what's up y'all oh my goodness welcome back to my channel leo i just did a reading for you guys and i fucked around and deleted the whole entire reading oh my goodness i did not mean to do that so i guess that message was not meant to come out i don't know what just happened it was oh my goodness oh my goodness anyway welcome back to my channel this is going to be another reading for Leo. <laughs> Sun, moon, and rising. Male and female. Who's coming towards you? Keep in mind that this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. For those that this reading happens to resonate with, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to click that little bell button so you can be notified whenever I upload a reading, okay? Keep in mind, energies can be vice versa interchangeable. Take some messages as they resonate with you and leave the rest for someone else, like I said. If you guys are interested in donating to my channel, you could definitely do so. In the description box below, there is my wish list on Amazon. Definitely helps to um, purchase new decks and items for my channel, as well as for my personal readings when I start to accept them. Okay, so if you guys are willing... Uh, and generous enough to donate, please do so. Definitely appreciate it. Okay, so let's get into this reading for Leo again. Hopefully, I'll be able to upload this one. Okay, <laughs> let's see what's going on with Leo, Spirit and Universe, Holy Spirit, Angels of the White Divine Light. Can you please give us clear messages for Leo again? Thank you so much. All right, let's see what's going on for my Leo, sun, moon, and rising who's coming towards you. First of all, we got to see what this overall energy be like. And we have the page of staff. Wow. Okay, so overall energy page of staff could be a message coming in for some of you is what i'm getting okay hmm all right so let's see who's coming towards you we have the two of coins could be an earth sign towards virgo capricorn or could also be another fire sign here okay aries leo sagittarius uh, so who's coming towards you? We have the two of uh, pentacles. Looks like someone is juggling, okay? Uh, maybe juggling a lot of things. They may have a lot on their plate, like I said. Two of pentacles. I always look at this two of pentacles as just juggling a lot, you know? Um, juggling too many things at one time. Next card is what are their intentions? We have the five of staff. Wow. So conflict, tension, petty arguments here is what I'm getting. With the five of staff. Mm, interesting. Interesting. The next card is going to be what is the challenge here? We have we have the seven of cups. So this is the challenge. Maybe being a little confused, okay? Or someone having to... Okay, so also what I'm getting is, like I said, with this five of uh, wands, this is conflict and tension. And this is their intentions towards you, okay? It's really... I'm not really feeling that energy, okay? And then also with the seven of cups being here, water, energy, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is a challenge. This is also like illusions, you know, broken promises, dreams. You know, somebody could be promising you um, things but never fulfilling them is what I'm getting, okay? So this is de uh, definitely... A a challenge okay seven of cups or someone uh, needing to make a decision this could also be someone having a lot of options as well and i say that because we do have the five of staff so this could also be like competition okay and then this is how this person is coming in fucking two of uh, pentacles this could be someone juggling okay more than one person causing a lot of conflict and tension and drama this is their intentions towards you okay so that really is concerning to me especially like i said yeah this is like all you know what? Okay. How do they see you? Let's see. Three of coins. So someone, I feel, I'm getting like a third party situation though, you know? So they see you as someone who's definitely determined to uh, put in the effort, okay? That's what I'm getting, okay? So that's why I feel like this person may have a habit of trying to play on that here with all this other energy here, okay? Um, but this, but that's how they see you. Let's see. Um the next card is going to be, how do they feel about you? We have the Ten of Swords. Wow. Uh, wow. How they feel about you. I, did you, uh, somebody could have uh, backstabbed them at one point or something like that. I'm really getting like a um, underhanded type of uh, vibe here. You know, someone doing things just to cause conflict and chaos in your life that's definitely what i'm getting it's very confusing very immature all right ten of swords air energy libra gemini aquarius okay 
uh, this is how they feel about you. So for some reason, I'm getting someone is feeling betrayed here. Maybe they felt betrayed in the past. Here is what I'm getting with this Ten of Swords. Um, some sort of betrayal uh, is what I'm getting. They feel wronged by you. For some reason, I don't know what happened. I don't know. Yeah, but that's what I'm getting. That's exactly what I'm getting here. It's kind of like somebody is trying to get you back in a, you know, in a way, but it's not in a good way. Um So the next card is what are they what are they not telling you? We have the chariot. So moving forward, overcoming obstacles, having that drive. Yeah, I really feel like they have some sort of uh, point to prove. Thank you, Spirit. This person has a point to prove here. It's like they are coming back for either revenge or something like that. Maybe a pedal, uh, a pa maybe a, a pedal. Maybe they're driving, um, but uh, maybe um, they are it's sort of like a petty ass energy here. Um, maybe a petty childhood rivalry. If, if I guess that's the way you say it. <laughs> but that's what I'm getting here. It's like, uh, you know what? I don't have time. Um, let's clear <laughs> let's see. What's the next one? Um let's see, what's the next one? Cause damn, this energy is just like <laughs> oh my goodness. So the next one is what are they hiding from you? We have the star card. Okay. So again, healing. Hmm trying to stay optimistic it's almost like somebody is trying to act like everything is okay to make you pay for something so, something that's what it looks that's what it feels like to me uh i'm not i don't know what the pacifics is but because you know i am reading for a collective of um leo so you know it's kind of crazy the next card we have is what do they need to work on? We have the Hierophant. Yeah, so doing things in a traditional sense, doing things the right way, I would say. Uh, maybe, I feel like this person needs a little structure, too, in their life here. Um, but the Hierophant is that definitely talks about um, organizations and, you know, traditional values, values, um different things like that with this hierophant card so maybe they need to um work on yeah being more uh not traditional but just maybe they need to work on um following the rules because I feel like this person could be definitely breaking the rules, a lot of rules anyway, um, with this uh, with this energy. Uh, the next card we have is, where is this relationship headed? We have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, so a lot of anxieties, a lot of uh, stress is what I'm getting. Um, a lot of low vibrational energy here. Let's see the outcome. We have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so still being, it's like somebody wants to keep you stuck. Okay, uh, mourning over them, over the loss of them or something like that. It's like somebody's trying to persuade you to, you know, get into a relationship so they can um, betray you like, like you betray them. Now, I don't know if this is particularly, if this was particularly done to them, this could have been, I don't know, it just seemed like some little petty type of shit um, that happened way back when and it's like now is their chance to get you back but it's like they're trying to really keep you in a place where it's draining it's depression it's you know all of that that's definitely what i'm getting some of y'all could be dealing with an earth sign choice Virgo, capricorn uh, we have a lot of air energy here as well. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, as well as your energy, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So if this reading happens to resonate with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.